Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're here with episode number 60 of the Iron Man series. A series in which I am doing my best to continue on the maxing journey along with a ton of PVM along the way. Last episode I was able to capture myself a nice little bow of Fardinant right down here along with a crystal helm and body. So, currently still need the legs from Corrupted Gauntlet that will take two more pieces. Not gonna lie, the armor looks a little derpy but that's okay. But, this episode, looking forward to, we should be be getting a one bill bank at the moment 974 mil in total wealth it would just be really sick to see myself go over that right now i have a hydra task of 113 more so i'm going to get started on that also going to mix in a little bit of chambers of Zarek and some corrupted gauntlet as i go those are kind of my main things at the moment chambers i still really want a deck scroll for rigor but we're going to get on out there see what we can do all right well uh i'm not sure if we're splitting we didn't really discuss it i'd imagine we are but there was a Dex Prayer Scroll that was uh, that was taken. We are splitting, so you know, I get like 5.5 mil for that. A nice little bond, keep me churning out here. But yeah, you know, a little sad that it wasn't my own, but we live, we keep moving. I think it's been, uh, what am I at, 162? Yeah, I, my last purple was at 81, so it's been a while. Feeling rough out here. I mean, 5.4 mil, I think the bonds are like 5.9, but pro tip, it's currently Monday. Wait until Saturday and then buy your bond. You get a lot cheaper. Easy game though. Throw that on into the coffer. Currently out here on a farm run showing off my tricks of the trade. I was asked how much I AFK. I replied an appropriate amount. And uh, yeah, I offered to show my services. So, I mean, you know, looking pretty good. Nice and AFK. I'm actually really close to a farming level. I think tonight's going to be a good bit of skilling. I'm close to a farming level a mining level, fishing level, I got a lot of levels, a smithing level, like I <laughs> have so many levels I can go get, so that's probably gonna be in the cards for tonight. All the other levels are pretty far away. I do need to do some foot pedaling, so I'm gonna wanna get a little bit of thieving done here soon, and I'd also like to work on a good bit of high alking to see how much cash I can get. Oh, speaking of, uh, actually, after I go and do this, I am gonna check out my Throne of Miscellany. I haven't been there in so long. I'm sure I have a ton of herbs, I can't wait. Always love the bucket helm, by the way. Definitely a vibe. So I hope I'm not overblowing how much I, I have in here. I believe it's a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Okay, we got we got a good amount of grimy herbs. So also a decent amount of seeds. I mean, I guess you never really get too many that are that great. So I have like nine good seeds. But 12k teak logs, basically. We also have 20 bird's nests with seeds. Those are the only ones I really care about all too much. And yeah, I mean, for the herbs, how many, how many Ranars are in there? Where are they at? Right here, 320, not bad. About three to 400 of most of the very usable herbs. I'm very, very satisfied with that. Um, did put a lot of money in there. Still have a good bit left to go, so I should be good in that regard. I'll also admit, I didn't do the best keeping up my favor, so could have been better, but eh, you know, it happens. So I'm actually gonna try this out a little bit. I've never done this before. The Arceus Spellbook, I'll be honest, I haven't tried too much with some of the weirder spells that they've added. Just because early on in the account, I didn't really have the runes or the use for these types of things. Something along that sort, though, is the Degrime feature that you can go ahead and use. It costs two nature runes. On top of that, some earth runes, but I have a staff for that. So you just take out a full inventory, use Degrime, and apparently it takes a good bit of time to cast, as we can tell right now. And then 100 herb lore XP, 83 magic XP. I guess I was assuming that this would actually be much, much quicker, if I'm being honest. I mean, I feel like I could... I mean, it's very easy, but I probably could have been about done with my inventory by the time that that happened. So, just throwing it out there. I guess it's just more of a passive, easy way of going about cleaning them, rather than actually being too, too efficient. I don't know if I'm just going to do it myself. I, I might. I, I don't know if this is worth it. I mean, it feels a lot easier, but the name of the game with the account is AFK, but Herblore XP is very near and dear to my heart, so I'm probably just going to do it myself. Currently cleaning out my bank. I'm about to go ham, though. Uh, currently at 40.5 mil GP. In addition to that, my seeds are basically non-existent. I'm going to have a lot of seeds in the way, though, here soon, because not only am I going to go foot pedal for some seeds from Master Farmers, I also have a ton of seed packs. I'm not going to open them yet. Wait, am I? Okay, no, I have 81 left. So, yeah, I only have 81. I want to get 100, then I'll open them, but maybe I can get 100 this episode, depending on, you know, how much I keep up on my herb runs. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go high Alcaton, grab some seeds. We'll be back to see how it went. Returning with a fishing level right here, getting up to 96. 
bunch of grads in the chat appreciate that i was gonna say i thought i knew that that was the level but yeah 96 is needed for the morantania elites now i can do that without having to boost for some reason i still haven't done that i don't know what's holding me back apparently nothing wait this is like actually incredibly easy just to go oh wait i need to get a full barrow set yeah i don't think i'm close to any of those okay well i lied thought i was gonna go do that anyways happy to have gotten up to 96 one mil xp away always sad to see that but i've been enjoying the dark crabs out here actually it's been really nice i've only died a couple times i've been meaning to get some pking footage or like you know footage of me getting pk it's really simple though i just like walk back and forth between this gate or i go use that one over there that's why i bring a lock pick pro strap <laughs> okay well um i just want afk and um i ended up dying while going for dark crabs and i'm currently in a high risk world i went to this one it said high risk and i was like yeah well i figured that that meant you know i couldn't use protect item in the wildy that actually meant that i lose everything on my person um luckily nothing too terrible i mean it's just a bunch of barrows items for the most part i lost my varak top this one's pretty painful uh oh okay actually i have a bunch of carol's leather skirts all right i lost one of them that's okay it's it's not too bad then i did lose a Darak helm which is the only piece of Darak i have so far so that one's actually pretty tough but you know the more you know <laughs> that's painful and there we go 95 farming just like that nice little message in the chat too love to see it currently been working on a little bit of pickpocketing i have a little over 50 rayonars i believe yeah looking at the bank 53 rayonars is kind of the main one i was basically out of everything else as you know so doing pretty good gonna do a lot of pickpocketing and then i have 18 more seed packs to go we'll open up this too and then we'll just have an absolute boatload of seeds at some point during this episode which i mean as far as supplies goes at this point i have a good amount of potions i have a ton of food i have a ton of raw food i have a good amount of supplies to back that all up i think i'm at a really solid point on the account in terms of the utility i have going forward it really just comes down to me bossing and getting all these drops now just spam through a level right there 96 of the evening i know it's kind of a meme that i, I miss levels but forgive me i'm foot pedaling you know not really paying much attention just absolutely killing it out here, enjoying my time. Probably not going to be getting 97 thieving anytime soon, I wouldn't imagine, but I will go show my seeds off because it's looking pretty good at the moment, actually. Flexing the bank there, I am one Rayonar seed off of 100, which has kind of been my main goal. I'm going to go far past it, though, just because I want to stock up as many seeds as I can so that when I inevitably open up my 100 seed packs, I'll just have an absolute boatload and I won't have to worry about it for a while. I've had to obtain a good bit of my own seeds through thieving though recently because I haven't been doing a ton of Slayer. I've been kind of stuck on this Hydra task. Hydra does give me a lot of grimy herbs, but no seeds really. Just got back from a farm run since I've been keeping up on my seeds, also keeping up on my runs. Notice that as I want to go bank everything, I'm currently at 999 mil. And uh, I, I think this armor set's worth like a mil in alcables or something like that. So there we go. A one build bank it will fluctuate up and down so i don't know if it'll stay this way i don't really think i did anything too crazy today i mean i got a ton of seeds and some blood runes i don't think it was enough i think there was some price fluctuations to help me out but either way very excited to see that honestly just an absurd milestone for the account i've never really thought about it until now but I, at some point my iron man bank might become more than any of my main accounts banks most i've ever had on a main account at one time is probably like two and a half to three bill i usually keep my wealth spread out amongst my many accounts but with the rate i'm going at and getting into the high level pvm at this point you think it's a matter of time returning with my spoils from the uh, foot pedaling that i've been doing not too bad not too bad i will say that uh, probably gonna be done here uh 133 ranars maybe one less maybe or maybe i already used one i don't know why it's an odd number to be honest with you but 6.1 mil just in the ranars alone which is really really great 7.7 .7 mil overall a lot of quarms a lot of irits and uh a little bit of the rest, not too much there, but I will get a ton more seeds and a lot of ears in particular whenever I go open up all these. So I am going to work on that and then we'll see how far we can get all that. Guess we'll have to get used to these views for my mining levels going forward. I got a lot of room crafting to do. With that comes some decent mining XP. I was kind of saving a level for the next time I went back to the Amethyst mine, but I haven't really had much of a reason to ever since I got the Bofa, so I haven't, I haven't been there too much. Still got like 4,000 Amethyst or something in the bank to go ahead and craft, but I don't know what I want to craft them into because I don't use my blowpipe really 
much anymore, so... And just sitting on them, stocked away for later. As for the skills, though, I mean, I am obviously working on some room crafting, but I think I should probably go and do some smithing and maybe some construction as well. I mean, those two being my lowest stats is pretty disappointing, so uh, gonna have to give that a peek. Got the quarter up in time for a nice smithing level coming on in here. Did get another one off camera, was doing a little bit of blast furnace to make some mithril bars and gold bars, but up to 87 smithing just like that. Now make rune maces and shades and supply boots five. I feel like I already have had those for a while. I don't really know what the Shazian boots do, to be honest with you. Speaking of not knowing what things do, I figured out a little thing or two with construction. So the best way to go about making planks has been to go to a PvP world and use the Camelot teleport, and that will put me right next to a bank. Once I grab some teak logs out of there, then I go on over to my house. I've never really done this before, and all my construction days on this account, it's never really come to this. I actually had to install a nice little bell pole down there. I think it's right there in that corner. Yeah, there it is. That allows me to just spam click that little spot, call my servant, and just like that, he pops on over. Now, what I was doing before is I would tell him to go ahead and take the teak logs to the sawmill, use them on him, then from there, go ahead and ask him to go to the sawmill, throw 24 on in there. What I was doing up until this point is I'd use the teak logs on the butler, then I would tell him to go to the sawmill, tell him to take my entire inventory worth, he'd ask for 13K, I'd tell him that's more than fine. And then I'd sit here and wait and just wait and wait. And, you know, five, ten seconds later, he'd come back by with uh, my teak logs and sometimes asking for a little bit more GP because he's stingy. And I figured, you know, it's not the best, but it works. I mean, being able to make planks like this, it was fine with me. It's faster than anything else I've ever done for planks. So I was happy with it. But after enough time of doing that method, I realized that there were times where I would accidentally teleport uh, say for instance right here, maybe I teleport when he comes back and I just do it a little too quick And then I realized that he would just put the planks on into my bank Without me actually having to retrieve them from him little did I know apparently everyone knows this This is like a commonplace thing for iron men shows you how much I'm just doing this all on my own <laughs> and Just enjoying my time on the iron rather than sweating this out and knowing every single meta that exists I asked my clan chat they told me that that's basically something that everyone does and I'm not finding out anything too, too interesting. But that really helped me a lot. I mean, I did like two or 3,000 planks with the somewhat slower method and yeah, it really ramped up once I figured out the better method. So I'm very glad that I figured that out before I went ahead and finished out this 20K teak plank grind that I'm gonna have to do. Not gonna do it all right now. I have more than enough to get the construction levels that I want at the moment, so I'm happy with it. I'll do this here and there on the side. I will say it is one of the grinds that people probably don't tell you about the Iron Man. The smithing grind and the construction grind, typically on a main account, really, really fast. On the Iron Man, you gotta go ahead and buy all your gold or make all your planks and it can be a little rough. If you've also noticed, I only bring one mil and a thousand law runes just in case anything goes haywire here in the PVP world that I'm in. Don't want to make a costly misclick or something along those lines, but yeah, been doing all right with it. Got 10k planks and 14k logs, which isn't too bad, but I still need a ton of logs for my miscellaneous, so I'm going to have to keep up on that. And there we go, grabbing a construction level up to 86 right there. Maximum 31 rooms now. As you can tell, slowly encroaching on the maximum rooms, so I'm definitely going to need that. I have so many useless rooms, but you kind of need tons of random rooms here and there in the Iron Man, so you do what you got to do. I don't really think there's anything too much more that I actually want to make in my house. I could definitely make it look a lot nicer and do some other little uh, nice add-ons to broaden the appeal. Let's save that for another day, though. It's looking fine right now. As for me, though, this Lantanime over here should be the 100th seed pack, and then I guess if there are any more seed packs that I can go ahead and get on my way here, then I'll do that too. It's taken a lot of willpower to stash up these 100 seed packs, so I'm really looking forward to this. All right, let's see if there's any extra. A hey, snape grass, there we go. We'll get 101. Managed to get a celestial tree for the next one, so up to 102 and probably gonna be done. A maple tree? Oh my goodness, I'm just hitting the jackpot right now. All right, there's no way I'm getting five in a row. That'd be a little too lucky. Palm tree. Oh my, I have a palm tree up, dude. Oh my goodness. All right, there's no way it's six. It's over now. Dragon fruit treat, just like I thought. But luckily, I can now open all these because my bank space is running very, very low. It's gonna be nice to get all this open. For the record, 104 packs. We'll go ahead and see what we can get on inside of there. And I already have a ton of seeds already, so I'm really excited. 104 seed packs opened. I had two more spirit seeds, so I turned them in for a couple more seed packs just for fun. Overall, 
pretty good. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at this, it's ridiculous. Eight dragon fruit seeds, not bad at all. 15 of spory, four magic, ton of maples. Most importantly for me, 145 Eerits. I was not expecting that at all. And then about 20 to 30 of a lot of other pretty important ones, Cadentine, Toad Flax, Lantodime Quarms, 21 Rainars, 12 Snaps. Overall, really, really happy with the spoils here. Close to 8 mil in total seeds that I was able to add. I guess I've never really added that to my bank value, but my seed vault's worth a good bit, I would say. Yeah, 24.7 mil. Once I throw on in a lot of the seeds that I'm not going to need in my bank, we're looking at close to 30 mil. Throwing these on into the bank as well, that means I'm at 1.02 bill. So, you know, if you want to throw the seed vault in there to add that up, it's 1.05. 50 mil over a bill at this point and feeling really good about the account with that said though hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the hardcore iron man oh oh <laughs> with that said though hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the iron man if you did feel free to leave a like i'd appreciate it greatly on top of that if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live make sure to subscribe also have a discord a clan chat plenty of places you can check myself and the community out down below in the description i'd recommend it greatly but with that said hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh peace